Hi. OK, thank you, yeah. OK, are you on the other line? <laughs> Hello, Graham. Hello. What? <laughs> Is it Jackie Weaver? <laughs> Does she have no authority? <laughs> uh, now, uh, what's your name? What's your name? My name's Gail. Gail, lovely. And what have you won lots of prizes for, Gail? Oh, it's not me. It's my, my youngest son. He's, he used to play football and do cross country. He's very good, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, OK, Gail, off to go with your story. <laughs> OK, so just to set the scene, we're talking 25, maybe 26 years ago, when my youngest son was in reception school and they were starting to learn how to spell some words. So the teacher was making it quite easy by going through the alphabet and doing very small words. And they get to W. And as you know, there's not very many <laughs> small words with W that you can spell. So after a couple of words, she says, OK, we'll make it a little bit harder and we'll put another letter with the W. <laughs> and she said, well, huh. So my son, and up straight away, Miss, 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 I've got a word. She'd go on and Andrew, what is it? Whip. Oh, she just very good. That's a nice word, yes. My mum's got a whip. Oh, actually, she, Andrew? <laughs> OK. Yes, it's upstairs in the bedroom. She said, OK, Andrew, that's fine. <laughs> she has some handcuffs as well. So when they come out and told me, I said to him, did you ask him, though, what the whip was and what the handcuffs were? She says, no, I didn't go there. So I said, we do have a whip. I said, but it was... Somebody bought it us in the 80s. they have been to a bullfight in Spain and it was one of them cheap, tacky souvenir things that they brought back. And then the handcuffs were some proper handcuffs, but they'd lost the keys for them. And my eldest, Philip, got stuck in them. So to make sure they didn't get stuck in them again, I threw them on top of the wardrobe. And that was why they were up there. It was really, really innocent at the end of the day. I'll let you walk. I'll let you walk. There you go. go oh, on. thank you. I couldn't. I couldn't flip, flip you for Gail. Did anyone else think the word beginning with W was going to be wank? Yeah, yes! <laughs> I thought <laughs> I was so surprised when we got to whip. I was like, oh, oh, oh. She asked for a long word, so I thought it was going to be... I can't even say it. Uh. That's what uh, I thought. Oh, yeah, wanker. Oh, wanker. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought Deborah it was going to be. Deborah can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, oh now. Here we go. Now. <laughs> that's our face. Hello, sir. What's your name? Hi, Graham. My name's Darren. Darren. We have high hopes for you, Darren. Uh, this is David Tennant. You're hoping to keep Hi, David Darren. Tennant in the chair. Do me proud. Hi, okay. David. And uh, where are you, Darren? I'm in uh, Queensland, Australia. Yeah. Excellent. Wow. Very good. And what do you sure. do there? Uh, well, I was a sheriff, but I'm, uh, I got a heart condition, so I'm now a uh, disability pension at the moment. Wow. That's a, already that's a story. That's, yeah. that's already yeah. a story. Yeah. <laughs> OK. Off you go with your story, Darren. OK, so um, a few years ago, we were going to a New Year's Eve party, and uh, it was 8 o'clock at night, and I had a bit of time on my hands, so I had a couple of... Um, uh, model planes and cars that needed fixing, so I decided that <laughs> had a bit of time, go and do it. So, uh, grabbed some um, uh, super glue, went into the living room, started gluing, <laughs> did one or two models, and then I dropped the lid of the super glue bottle under the table. So, I figured that I could put my hand under the table. So, as I was reaching for the thing, I grabbed the, the lid after a couple of attempts. And I was like, woohoo, I've got the leaves <laughs> on. And uh, anyway, I stuck my head to the um, to the table. So I stuck my forehead, super glued my head to the to the table. Um, I'm jumped in I'm the car, went to the, the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> four hours at the hospital and um, With the a doctor table. came in and said, uh, you know, I'm Dr. Such and Such, um, you know, how can I help you? And I'm saying, I've got a coffee table stuck in <laughs> <to> my head. <laughs> You can walk, Dad. You can walk. Very good. Yay! Hello. Hello. What's it's your Mike. name, sir? It's Mike. No, it's Mike. Mike. I really hope you have children, Mike. <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do indeed. Yes, it's not a hobby. <laughs> How did they find him? Yeah. Well, <laughs> funny story. Um, where are you, Mike? Uh, in the West Midlands, by Warsaw. OK, keep it vague. And, um, <laughs> and, and what, what do you do, Mike? Uh, I work in human resources. OK, very good. Uh, so, R Ramesh, Mike, Mike, Ramesh, off you go with your story. Good luck, Mike. Thank you. So, about 14 years ago, as a, as a surprise to my then-wife-to-be, I wrote to one of your guests, who, well, she was a massive fan of, asking them if they would be kind enough to send me a good luck message that I could incorporate in my wedding speech. Uh, kindly responded and sent me this. 
with the message, Mike's a lucky man. Lots of love, Hugh. Oh. So thank you uh, to Hugh for sending this. I mean, we're divorced now, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Turns out Mike wasn't so lucky. You can walk! You can walk! <laughs> yeah. Um, they were obviously married for a long time because you looked like a child in that picture. <laughs> that was very good. That, what a nice thing to do. Most unlike me. It must, <laughs> I must have had a very efficient assistant. Right. Hello, Graham. How are you? I'm very well. Where are you? In Buffalo, New York, USA. Oh, marvellous. And what's your name? Uh, Chris. Chris, is that art on the wall or are you planning a project? No, my wife and I just moved into a new house and we like to paint the room. Those are swatches of uh, potential colours. <laughs> oh, OK. <laughs> I'd go second from... Uh, I would, actually. Yeah. I agree. Yes, second, second from think, the right. I, I think they'll all make the room feel smaller. <laughs> it's sad, it's you you, just, you right. need light. It's... <laughs> it's a bedroom. They want it to be cosy. It'll be lovely. Anyway, uh, Chris, Mel Gedroyd, I believe, is ready in the chair. There she is. Mm. Mel, meet Chris. Chris, meet Mel. Chris! OK, Hi, Mel. Chris, Hi, off, Chris. You, off Your bladder you go. Is safe. OK, off you go. He's got to try and keep you safe, Mel. Okay. OK, come on, Chris. When I was in college, I was dating a girl whose parents were very good friends with my parents. OK. And both of our parents were very religious people. Right. Well, one weekend, our parents were out at some type of religious meeting. I was over at her house. Oh, and as people our age do, we were on the couch. Our clothes came off, <gasps> except for my socks. And all of a sudden, we heard the garage door open. And she, she gets up, she grabs all her clothes, and she runs upstairs to recompose herself. I'm standing there with no clothes on except socks. My clothes are on the floor. I reach down, put on my shirt, and then I realize I don't have time to put my pants on. Wow. So I grab my pants, I throw them underneath me, sit down on the couch, and there's a blanket draped across the couch behind me. Grab the blanket, <laughs> throw it over my lap, cover up the best I could. Sure enough, the door from the garage uh, opens. It opens right I into the I room. Just, I can't, I just, I, <laughs> the, the show's just not that long. No, I mean, it's just... I mean, I know Chris is in Buffalo, New York, yeah. but he may have seen the show before. Are you OK, Mel? That's, that's not been good. Have you wet yourself? I've slightly wet myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, the show's, the show's over. We'll, we'll just put some papers down in the cab and send you home. Hello. Hello. Hi, what's your name? Uh, Nicola. Nicola. And where are you, Nicola? I'm in Sleaford in Lincolnshire. Lincolnshire, home of the internet. OK, and, uh, <laughs> and what do you do there? I'm a primary school teacher. Oh, Soz. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you win some, you lose some. Uh, OK, <laughs> off you go with your story to keep Rob in the chair. OK, so I was in Mombasa and I had violent diarrhoea. Um, so I needed to find a toilet. Oh, and... I mean, is that the end of the story? Because that's, <laughs> no, that's no, already that's, a very good story. <laughs> You've peaked too um, early. You can't come back from violent diarrhoea. That's the oh, end, oh, surely. I can. I, can. I, um, I needed a toilet, and the only toilets that I could find in the area were a hole in the ground. It was a tiled hole with oh, a well. flush. Lovely. So I hovered over the hole. My entire body exploded into the hole. Oh. Um, I flushed, and everything that had just exploded from my body came up from the oh! hole into my head. Oh, 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 God. That's, that's disgusting. She's in charge of children. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Happy New Year. And the same to you. What's your name? Nina. Nina. Meet Nish. Nish, Nina. Nina, uh, good to see you. And uh, where are hey, you, Nish. Nina? I'm in Waterford in Ireland, County oh. Waterford. Oh, lovely, oh. lovely, lovely. And what do you do in Waterford? I'm a paediatric nurse. A paediatric oh, nurse? You can't flip a yeah. story from a paediatric... <laughs> you can't flip a nurse's story, Graham. <laughs> we, I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> uh, off, you, off you go, Nina. OK, so it was New Year's Eve and there was a party in our local GA club. <laughs> and I was a student nurse, very student. I was just a couple of months into my training. And a phone call came that a guy had come off his motorbike down in the village. So the lads came over like, Nina, can you help? Will you go and help and go and take a look? And I'm like, oh, I'm very junior, but I'll, I'll go and have a look. So we went down and we hopped out of the car, ran over. The guy is on one side of the road, the motorbike's on the other side. And I kneel down next to him and he's going, oh! And I said, are you OK? Are you OK? And he's going, oh! 
<laughs> and I said, but hold on now, are you hurt? Oh! And I said, right, you have to calm down and be quiet and tell me exactly where you're hurt. And he goes, you're kneeling on my hand. <laughs> <laughs> you can walk, you can walk, Nina. <laughs> Yay. It's there, I wonder. Hello. Hi. Hi, you look like you, you know what you're doing. Um, I hope so. Okay, what's your name? Yasmina. Yasmina, yeah. and uh, what, what, you have an interesting job, Yasmina. What is it? I'm nutritionist. <gasps> How did I know that? Oh. I don't know if that is interesting, but anyway, uh, you're a nutritionist. <laughs> yes. Arson, questions? Yeah. yeah. Mars bars, good, bad? Mars bars, on, <laughs> Mars bars or not? No. <laughs> no. Very bad. See, yeah. do She's you wrong. know each other? She's wrong. <laughs> do you know each <laughs> other? Uh, okay, and uh, where are you from? London. Okay. Like a London nutritionist. In sport or in company? Not sport, no, just um, um, on, on my own. I'm a freelance, um, so... She's I... a rogue nutritionist. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yes. you know, they're out there. Yes. Uh, OK, off we go with this story. So this was um, my, first, my first job. I was in marketing. First few weeks, um, and I had a boss that was um, very prim, proper, always wearing a suit, um, very serious. We didn't have a very good relationship. And he comes in, and he's talking to um, someone else in the office, and I notice something is hanging from the back of his suit. It's something long and white, and I'm thinking, what? And I'm not quite sure, so I, I look closer, and I notice it's toilet paper. Um, he had literally a, just a little, like a tail, a short tail of, of toilet paper. Yes. And at this stage, <laughs> at this point, I'm looking over to my right, and, and a really close friend of mine is sitting next to me, and I see in her eyes that she's noticed at the same time as me that it's toilet paper. Yes. And so I'm, I'm, I'm I, I just want to burst out laughing. Yes. But I can't. He's my no. boss. Yes. So I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to control myself, trying to think <laughs> sad thoughts and not say, not say anything. And then I think this poor man. I have two choices. <laughs> I don't say anything, and he walks around all day long. Yes. With this hanging, or I say, or I'm, I'm decent, and I say something. I've, I know. I've lost, I, I was trying. I was trying so hard. <laughs> but that is nearly it. Before we go, we do have time to visit the big red chair. Can you smell the disinfectant? Mm. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, there's like sheep dip back there. there uh, who's up first? Hello. Hi. 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 Uh, what's your name? Uh, Jess. Jess, lovely. And uh, where are you from, Jess? Um, I'm from Melbourne, Australia. Melbourne, Australia. Yeah. Uh, Jess, just because this might be on television, I think you'll regret your jumper jean. <laughs> okay, there you go. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Just, I just thought. I mean, it's humiliating enough uh, <laughs> without that added on. Um, so, um, uh, and do, do you live here now, Jess? Yeah, yeah, I live here for the last year. OK, and what do you do? I'm a physio. A fit such a good job. <laughs> Great job. Yeah. Yeah. Are you back? Are you able to be a physio? Yeah, yeah, I work at the NHS, so... Oh, yeah, yeah right, yes, all the time. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah non-stop physio. Yeah. Uh, OK, Jess, off you go with your... Look, oh, look at your hands clutching the, the nice... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, I would hang on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running with Jess. Uh, OK, off you go with your story, Jess. Um, so, back when I was a physio in Melbourne, I was working on a urology ward with a patient that had had um, surgery on his sort of nether regions, um, so he had quite swollen testicles. Oh, yes. um, and it was my job to get him up and get him out of bed, and I was in a bit of a rush. So I went over, got him sitting on the edge, and he was a big guy, and the gowns of one size fits all, so it didn't really fit him that well. Um, so he's sitting on the edge, I was like, all right, let's go. And he's like, oh, I want to walk in my shoes. And I was like, okay, where's your shoes? And he's like, underneath the bed. Oh, and so no. me, being a bit young and stupid, no decided that I'd reach for the shoes while he's sitting on the edge of the bed, and they happened to be between his legs. So as I was reaching to grab the shoes between his legs, I turned my head, but the poor guy had a spasm of pain and stood up. So oh. I ended up with a big swollen testicle smacking me straight in the face. <laughs> <laughs> you may walk, Jess. Oh, walk. Yeah. Oh, first week back. Yeah. First week back. <laughs> What? what happened? Well, he, she got slapped in the face. She with went bollocks. down there. And he the stood shoes, up. And he and then stood these up. balls came boom like that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Hercule Poirot. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. 
Hi. Uh, what's your name? Linda. Linda. Lovely. And uh, where are you from, Linda? Ramsgate in Kent. Ramsgate in Kent. And what do you do there, Linda? Uh, insurance. Insurance. Yeah. It's very dangerous in Ramsgate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you need insurance. Taking out insurance for this. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Maybe that's what she's doing it, to make a claim. Yeah. <laughs> She'll own the studio. <laughs> uh, off you go with your story, Linda. OK, right, so a few years ago, quite a few years ago, um, I had a boyfriend... Woo! Mm -hmm, ..and um, <laughs> he was having a little bit of a kiss and a cuddle. But at the time, I had a quite a large cold sore on my oh. lip. Oh, Linda, you delight me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so after the little kiss and cuddle, I, I, I said to him, I said, ''Oh, the scab's come off.'' He went... Yeah, I've just swallowed it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh Linda, that is absolutely foul. <laughs> <laughs> I need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to get so many Tinder messages after this. <laughs>